A digital radio transmitter processes sounds into patterns of numbers or digits. That is why it is called digital radio. What are the advantages of digital radio? I'll tell you four advantages. First, it improves radio signal. Digital radio has the potential to deliver CD quality sound. Second advantage, it delivers interference-free signal, whether in fixed or mobile environment. With digital radio, tuning in to our favorite program will be hassle-free, whether we are inside a car or beside tall buildings. Third advantage is that it can transmit data both related to radio program and to non-related businesses and opportunities. With digital radio, radio sets will have an LCD or liquid crystal display, which is capable of displaying all kinds of information. Besides the station's call sign, it can display other information. Example, about the song title, artist, lyrics, traffic, weather information, stock market quotation, and many other possibilities. Fourth advantage is the efficient use of the spectrum and lower installation and operating costs. Digital signals can be compressed, thus less bandwidth or space is consumed. Furthermore, with digital radio, a single frequency can be shared by up to six radio stations. The system also uses Single Frequency Network or SFN. With this, same stations can be on the same frequency all over the country. Indeed, digital radio offers a lot of benefits for broadcasters as well as the listeners. Another exciting broadcast innovation is called online radio. Radio broadcasts from any part of the world can now be accessed through Internet. Broadcasts can be made interactive and may be supplemented by other services and information available in the Internet. Speaking of computers, we also use PCs in the production of radio program materials. Look at this. Yet to write the date of the test, that is today, November 11th. We have tackled about the process of radio transmission and the trends in radio broadcasting. The things you learned today hopefully inspired you. Hope you enjoyed our trip to a radio station. Bye! happen when you do not prepare your equipment for a broadcast interview. Super. Mrs. Tan, thank you for that interview. I'm sure our listeners will be very happy with what you have to say. Okay. You're very much welcome. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you can listen a little bit to the interview? That would be no problem. <laughs> let, let me check. I'm sure I have extra batteries. Oh um, dear. So what was that? Oh, that was my two-way radio. Why would you like to listen to the interview now? Let's wait for it on air. It would be a surprise. I'll get back to you, Mrs. Tan, on Tuesday. Bye, 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 bye. If you have to interview, be sure to check if the batteries of your recorder are charged. Better, if you will also bring extra fresh batteries. Remember, you may lose a good interview by overlooking minor details as such. Many people will benefit from our housing program. Each house is very affordable, plus it's payable in 10 years. So if you have any of your listeners interested in our housing program, here's how they can apply. What's wrong? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I ran out of blank cassette tapes. Oh. Take plenty of blank tapes. In the course of the interview, you may find it necessary to follow up the interviewee's answer. So, the interview may exceed the length that you expect. 
And who knows, you might also come across another interesting story. Hey, mister, do you think this is going to take long? Uh, um, I'm sorry, no, no, but no, no, I do no, have an appointment no. at this time. Uh, I have to go. Make it a habit to check if your recorder and microphone are working. It's very frustrating and embarrassing to discover that your equipment are out of order when you are there just about to start the interview. How well do you conduct an interview? See if you have been into any of the situations that you'll see in this video. Position yourself so that you and the interviewee are slightly turned in toward each other. This way, you can easily move the microphone between you and the interviewee with a slight twist of your hand. Don't ram the microphone down your interviewee's throat. Hold it about one foot from your respective mouths, or slightly nearer to the one with softer voice. But do not also hold the mic too far away from you or the interviewee's mouth. You will pick up unwanted surrounding noises. Never let go of your microphone. It is your control device. If you let the interviewee hold the mic, it will be difficult to interrupt him when he answers too long. More so, passing the mic from one another will cause unpleasant sound on your recording. Check the ambience of the room where you will conduct the interview. Your voice should not echo and the place is free from constant noise like that from an air conditioner or a fan. If you must conduct the interview where an aircon or a fan is on, request the interviewee to put it off for the meantime. Explain to him that the sound will spoil the interview. Many people will benefit from our housing program. Each house is very affordable. Plus, it's payable in 10 years. So. Microphones are sensitive to gusts of winds. Cover the mic with a foam to minimize the impact of the wind to it. Also, ask the interviewee to face the wind's direction so that the mic will not pick the noise that the wind creates. lot of things to consider if you want to be a successful interviewer. But do not be discouraged. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. <laughs>